In this video, I'm going to show you how to create, how to draw shapes in Java inside the G frame. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, create a G frame, just like the usual way. You also need to set the parameters uh, as you like. I'm going to make it a 500-500 G-frame. You also need to set the uh, default close uh, default close operation. You need to set it to three to make sure the program uh, exits when you click the X mark. Now you need to make a G panel. And you also need to open two brackets inside this here, next to this G panel, like this. And now you need to type "pinched" like this. You can use uh, "paint" or "paint component." It's the same. It's almost the same. You need to make sure this code shows in your in your, uh, in your uh, code. Now let's uh, add the G panel to uh, to the G frame. Now let's set the uh, visibility to true. Now let's test our program. As you can see, there's an empty frame. To make sure to make uh, to draw shapes inside this frame, all you need to do is uh, between this line of code lines of code. If we, if we want to, to draw like a, a rectangle, we need to say G dot draw or uh, fill. There's a difference between draw and fill. Draw will only draw the edges, the borders of the uh, element, but the fill will fill the whole, uh, will fill the whole element with uh, a color. So let's try draw. You need to say draw rect, like here. And now you need to set the x and y and the width and height of this rectangle. Let's say like uh, 10, 10, 100 and 100. Now let's see. As you can see, there's a rectangle with the, the exact parameters that we gave it. Now to change the color of this uh, rect, you need to type uh, uh, above the code, the draw code. You need to uh, to type g dot set color, and you need to give it a color, like let's say red. As you can see, there's a red rectangle. Now to fill the rectangle with the, the color. You need to just change the word uh, draw to fill. As you can see, there's a red, there's a full red rectangle. 
let's say we want to draw a, a, a novel like a, a circle you need to say fill oval like this and you need to give it uh, parameters let's say 10 maybe 40 uh, 100 100 as you can see there's a red circle in the frame the, to make sure the elements are shown better in a better way in smooth you need to may align the you need to write this line of code first you need to create a new new uh, object named graphics 2d and you need to make uh, to write g dot maybe uh, think create maybe yes create and now you have to cast the uh, the g dot create to graphics 2d like this now you need to change all the g's in your code to g2 or the name of the object that you made and uh, above all above all the lines of code you need to say g dot g2 dot set rendering hint set rendering hint and you need to uh, set this uh, two values to the values I'm gonna type right now You need to choose key, key, initialize, initialize this uh, this line of code right there. And in the second uh, the second parameter, you need to say rendering hints almost the same. When rendering hints, and you need to choose value. And the same thing like uh, this uh, line of code initialize initialize on like this and now the objects will uh, will be better shown and smoothly as you can see now to draw other uh, shapes like triangles and all shapes with different uh, uh, any different shape you know, want you need to only say fill in the G2 like this and you need to make a new shape like uh, you need to make a new and uh, these shapes are going to uh, show to you you will see that there's no triangle among them I think there's no triangle I don't know maybe I don't think there's a triangle yes there's no triangle so you need to make a uh, polygon this uh, object right here and the thing is about uh, is uh, you need to set like uh, X and uh, X and, uh, and Y's and then the, the polygon is going to connect them and fill them with what you want you need to make an array of, uh, of ints Here you need to give it the x values. The first point should be in the middle, so let's give it like uh, 50. The second is going to be in the right side, let's say uh, 20. And the last one is going to be in the other side, let's say 80. Sorry, 80. Now let's give it the y values. first one is going to be uh, the same as the uh, I think the same as the first first one I don't know the only thing that matters is you need to make uh, the last two values the same like let's say uh, 80 you need to make the other one 80 like this and here you need to make uh, you need to say like the, 
the amount of uh, connections and here we have three now now let's test our program as you can see there's a triangle filled with the color red you don't have to understand this uh, this line of code right here you can just play around with it and you will get it that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed in the next video I'm going to explain how to make fun how to make actions happen when you click on shape thank you for watching